We are now going to look at the Pico Strap theme dashboard. You can reach it directly from the front end via the link labeled Pico Strap Theme Options on the admin bar or from the back end in the appearance menu, choosing Pico Strap Options. The Pico Strap Theme Dashboard contains a welcome area with a shortcut to the WordPress customizer and a link to the theme documentation. On the right side, it contains some secondary utilities. Using the first link, you can manually force the CSS bundle to be rebuilt. Basically, you should not need to do this since PicoStrap does automatically detect changes in the SAS folder and React recompiling, but it can make sense for debugging some peculiar situations sometimes. Using the second link, you can reset the theme options to default values. Please make sure you actually want to do this, as this option will completely delete your customizer personalizations after asking for confirmation. Below this section, the Pico Strap theme dashboard contains some instructions about how to add your own SAS or CSS code. We went through this topic in the first video of the series, by the way, so we won't cover it again now. Further below, there are some tools to export or import theme settings. If you click the export button, a JS summon file with all the current customizer settings will be downloaded, including your color palette, font choice, etc. This can come in handy if you want to back up your settings or build a preset style to reuse on another site. Of course, you can re-import the JS summon file via the import function. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video has been useful for you. If this was the case, I'd really appreciate if you click the like button. By the way, in order not to miss our next updates, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.